Ten Questions with Academy Award-nominated hairstylist Judy Corey followed the path of her entire 64 and More interview. Interesting memories, introspective stories, and lots of laughter. Pretty much the definition of the life of this most talented woman. Who is the most important person to you? My mom. Why? She was not only my mom, she was my best friend. And when did she pass? She was 64. Young. I was 42. What is most valuable to you? Health, is that a, I want to be around for a long time. If you have grandchildren someday, would I you, do. Would you have grandchildren? Yes, I do. I have a son. Would we you? haven't talked about, and he has a boy and a girl. And what does he do? Um, he's a stuntman. Okay. So clearly your work in the industry did not discourage any of your kids. So if either one of your grandchildren came to you and said, Grandma, we want to go into the movies, what would your response be? My granddaughter already has her SAG card. She wants to be an actress, which is a hard one. Yeah. Very hard. And Keegan, my grandson, got his SAG card very young because he worked as a stunt child in some of the movies where they had elves and such, like in Santa Claus and a lot, a lot of those. So you're not discouraging either one of them? No, I think you have to make your own decisions in life. What makes you happiest? No matter when it happens or how it happens, it just makes you happy. Laughing. Does that count? Yes, absolutely. I love to laugh. I have this good friend, Sherry. She makes me laugh all the time. My kids make me laugh. My mom made me laugh. I, lo I love people that make me laugh. What do you enjoy doing the most? I love traveling, seeing things that are historical or, I mean, that's what made my job so great is that I got to see so much. What is your biggest life fear and how have you or how do you overcome it? Talking in front of people. No. <laughs> You've done a good job. You have officially overcome it today. In grammar school and everything, I hated getting in front of the class. And maybe that's why I chose to be behind the camera. Is it important to you to spend time with other people? Or are you someone who needs time by yourself? I like a long time. But I love being with people. Okay. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that wants to be the leader of the band. I just like to march along. How do you define quality of life? you got to stay healthy. Do you consider what society defines as important, important in your life, or do you tend to march to your own drummer? I think I kind of want to do what I want to do. I think that's why I was a department head. What's your lifetime dream? Well, it's changed a little, I think, as I've gotten older. <laughs> what was it? I think I was driven to succeed. By what? The fact that so many people in my family haven't succeeded or didn't succeed. Really? I'm talking about my past. Right. I think I was very much driven to not be the same. Yeah. I was going to work hard. I was never going to be broke. I was going to be able to walk into a shoe store and buy any pair of shoes I wanted. But now it's not so important. What is important now? So what's the lifetime dream now? Continue living and see my family grow and just be me. What is your personal favorite movie? Oh dear, that's a couple. We'll give you two. Dr. Javago. Why? I think it's also so romantic and I think I loved the look of it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful movie. And my favorite movie as a child was The Greatest Show on Earth. Why? It, I loved the circus. And then I got to work with Jimmy Stewart when I grew up. As a child, I, I was enthralled with him. He was, he's a fabulous actor. What was he in the, in the movie? A what clown. Did, he played a clown. A scary clown or a good clown? No, a good clown. He was good. Did you talk to him about that when you got to work with him? No. 
Well, I think I probably did tell him, but you know, you didn't want to say to actors, I loved you when I was a child. <laughs> I've seen people do that to, to women and actresses, and it's just devastating <laughs> to think that they were already an actress and you were a child. If you had to use one word to sum up your career, what would that word be? Fascinating. <laughs>